Okay, so we want to say hello. Uh, my name's Ingrid and this is Bob. And uh, as if any of you watch my uh, my um, Ingrid Hair Inspiration YouTube channel, Ingrid and the Ingrid Car Chronicles, you hear me talk about this man all the time. This is Bob. This is the Bob that I talk about, the Bob that works at Sprouts. This is my number one. He's my shaman, my guru. He's my... <sighs> Well, you know, I, I, speak of, I speak about him all the time. And he's here in my home, and we're shooting a video. And so I, I couldn't be literally more excited. Like I, so if, if, I'm, if I'm talking fast or I'm excited, good for me. Good for me. Okay, so Bob, we are shooting this video. We don't know exactly. Well, we have so many topics to talk about and to, to cover right. that, honestly, I don't even know where to begin. I, we, we could just shoot videos all day which would make me so happy. Uh, but today, there are a few topics yes. that are at, uh, in my opinion, more um, imperative yes. than others. Um, I think one topic that we'll just, we'll, we'll shoot right off the cuff mm -hmm. is the fires that have happened recently in Thousand Oaks and Malibu and Agora and all you know, in the fires mm -hmm. here in Los Angeles. And... It has been a little concern of mine about the chemical runoff in the waters coming back up, falling down, um, and, and we're, we're eating it or mm -hmm. drinking the water or just, yes. we're just being, you know, possibly poisoned. Okay. What can we do? Did I put you on the spot? <laughs> you did actually. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Well, that's Okay. It's, on the spot's a good place to be. Now, I, I, I feel like we did discuss a couple things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Didn't we? We did. No, we did. <laughs> okay. We did talk a call. Earlier, we talked about right. a couple things. Um, so, is it, right off of your, in your instinct, what would you say we can do to protect ourselves from right. the possible poison? for lack of a better word right right uh well there are some there are some there's one thing in particular we can be aware of this present moment number one and just be fully engaged in the moment right and one of the things that's a great detoxifier right and and this could be relevant right now is a uh, blue green algae called chlorella which is very good for removing the heavy metals. Absolutely, they, and, yes, and yes. And that could definitely be something that's uh, in our experience right now. Right. In addition, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is yeah. found in all the green leafy vegetables. Right. And chlorophyll is another thing that's a great detoxifier. Right. So uh, definitely looking to the greens, number one, is, is very important. Right. Chlorophyll is very important. Okay. And along with another supplement called spirulina, which is a blue-green algae. Right. The fact that it's green also. Wow, now, interesting. I'm going to write some of this now, stuff down. when it comes to chlorella, the, there's two things. There's um, Chlorella is going to move the toxins. It's going to bring it up so we can let go of it. Right. And then, um, I just forgot the name of the second item. Oh, that's okay. Um, um, oh, what was it called? It's not citrulline. Spirulina? Yeah, there's something that moves the toxins out. Um, oh, uh, uh, is it something that makes you go to the bathroom? Not necessarily. Okay. Um, but anyways, the green, water. Yeah, the green drinking lots of water right. is important, and the it's greens vital. are very important. Okay. And definitely with the heavy metals, I mean, this is something we can do on a regular basis. Totally. So if anybody is like going on a trip over the holidays. Another great thing that a lot of speakers do use, they'll, they'll take the uh, chlorella before they take the plane trip. They're in that right. cabin. It really makes the trip a lot better. Right. And then afterwards, they don't feel ill. You know, oh. Because they're, you're cooped up in that cabin for eight hours. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's breathing that air that's just, you know, recycled from all that. Right. You right. know, it's just, it's the, the thought kind of is gross. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But anyways, cleansing is up for all of us anyways. Yes, we should all be cleansing anyways. But right. I feel like, you yes. know, with, with just it's a concern of mine. I don't know if I'm sure that it's a concern of other people yes, as well. Yes. But I just, I you know, when somebody, 
it wasn't even a thought of mine until somebody brought it to my attention. Right. It was like, well, what, I don't know, what, what are we going to do? I mean, what are we going to eat? And I was like, well, what do you mean? And then that's when they told me. And that kind of, it, it's, it's like, I'm sure that that person that told me this is not um, instilling fear in me. No. Right? But more of rather, rather than raising my awareness. Yes. Okay? Yes. But you have to understand that when we raise our awareness, we're responsible all of a sudden. It's like, who likes to be responsible? I want to be not responsible and just play in the mud, right? But, right. you know, we can't, you know, we have to make choices. We have yeah. to know what's out there. We have to know what's going on. So our choices are effective yeah. and they're powerful and we're empowered. Okay, so that was an awesome first segment. No, and I think what you're you're talking about, you're talking about mindfulness, mm-hmm. living each moment completely aware. We're not going asleep. Right. We're not going unconscious. Right. So we're also aware, too, of what we're putting in our body. Right. Not only are we breathing in, and even when we're looking at breathing in, uh, what we're breathing in, there are things to support the respiratory system. Right. right? Like, for example, black seed oil is very good for your bronchial passages. Yes. Oh, my God. My best friend's taking black seed oil black right seed now. Oil. A Greek philosopher said black seed oil kills everything except death. Right. <laughs> wow. No, it's, it's from the cumin seed. Whoa. So that, that is really good. In fact, people with uh, asthma, as a right. matter of fact, many people from asthma are almost off medications just from doing black seed oil. That's one thing that's... And it just has so many benefits. That's fantastic. So th- this could be very relevant to what's going on right now. Right, Bre- breathing. Especially um, the bronchioles. Yes, absolutely. This is supporting the bronchioles. And then in addition to that, we also have a, a couple of other things too that, that would be really relevant in terms of cleansing. There's a thing called labelia, which is a botanical. And it also is very good. Like if somebody has a cough, related to these fires, right. and it's extended, lobelia also will clean up the bronchioles. Right. It's very good for bronchitis. Uh, definitely um, is, would really support the respiratory and the wow. breathing. Okay, so, so we'll, when we will put a list yeah. of all these things that, that, you're, that, that, we're, yeah. that we're talking about. But these are things that we would want to do on a regular basis anyways. Right. Yeah, and to incorporate them in our regular regime because what we're aware of, because what we're aware of is that there's a lot of herbicides, pesticides, there's even glyphosate, which is like a weed killer. Yes. Being sprayed on all our food. So we will definitely, because I know that we spoke yeah. about that one. That's yeah. going to be a different episode. Yeah. Um, but that's, no, exactly. that's possibly in the next ep- yeah, ep- exactly. episode. Yeah, exactly. Segment. Segment, episode. Sure, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying. Um, so, so we so we, we touched base on how we can protect ourselves. What about what about our thoughts? I mean, do you think that there our thoughts hold any yes, um, yes. weight? Just our thoughts Completely. in in protecting us. Completely. Can you speak on that? Yes, because um, the thoughts are like beliefs that you have. Mm-hmm. You've actually made an agreement to have a particular belief. You've internalized that belief. It's part of you. And you're walking around carrying a belief. Right. So it would be really in our best interest to take a moment, be still, and actually check our beliefs. Absolutely. Okay, so with the situation you're talking about the fires, are we expecting the worst in this? Or are we looking at what are the gifts in this situation? Right. How can I up-level my consciousness today? Right. How can I empower myself? Yes. It doesn't matter what everyone else is doing, but what can I do? Yes. And furthermore, we want to recognize this is a friendly universe here to support you. Right. So then we're going through the day knowing that we're divinely supported, no matter what is going on externally. Right. Because we're carrying this with us. Right. This is our suitcase. Right. This is our our, our backpack. Right. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, So essentially just trusting. Trusting. That everything is going to work out. Yes. And everything is going to be beautiful and perfect, and if, yeah. if, 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 for lack of a better word again, because we're not that word. it is a loving and supportive universe yes. here supporting each of us. Right. But we're moving through the day knowing this. Yes. We're, this is what we're carrying. Which will lead us into our yes. next segment because exactly. we'll, we'll definitely, we'll go right, right into so that, that one. That, that was a good question you yeah. asked. 
Thank you. A really good thing for us to inquire right now. Yes, absolutely. All right, well, we're going to say goodbye, and um, we're right up. Perfect, 10 minutes.